Close enough. Today, we're gonna be making pancakes. Or actually, only one pancake. We're gonna turn this an entire 905 grams, or I guess kilogram if you're Canadian boy like me. We're gonna turn this entire package into one pancake. I also have this one. I bought two boxes of old fashioned pancake mix, no name brand. Any of my Canadian homies know that the way to go is no name, which gets you this very great uh, yellow, yellow branding with text. I mean, you ever heard of like fake or false advertising? This is like the most bland advertising, but you get exactly what you get, which is pancake mix. Anyways, I got two, but I'm probably I'm probably only gonna do one, so we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna need, I'm gonna need to get stuff. Before we do, I just want to take the opportunity to thank you all for 10,000 subscribers. We're not 10,500, so I'm a bit late on that. I think we hit 10,000 like a month or so ago, and I've been meaning to make a special video for the occasion, but I was a bit busy. Um, but the reason I decided to go with pancakes is my boy Meme actually suggested that I should do crepes, but I never got around to getting the ingredients for that and well, I got a join button. In case you guys don't know, it's basically the YouTube equivalent of member of uh, subscriptions and I decided that I wanted to uh, do my badges based around pancakes. The longer you've been, sub uh, you've been a member, you get more pancakes on your follower badge. Anyways, I thought I'd take the chance to promote this. I have two tiers. There's a $1 a month tier. Usually people put $5 a month, but I decided I just wanted to do $1 a month. So anybody who wants to, you know, donate some spare change uh, can be part of the dollar squad. I have the simp patrol here. You know, YouTube, I don't know why they let you, they, they let you put it to a maximum of $150 a month. I don't think anyone's gonna do it. And honestly, I, I would suggest you don't become part of the Sim Patrol. Uh, use your money for better stuff. However, if you want to, I mean, it's there. The option's there. Um, literally, you get no other, you don't get any other uh, perks aside that the Dollar Squad doesn't have, which is you get this cool badge, and um, there's no emotes yet, but when I live stream more often on YouTube, there's gonna be like YouTube exclusive emotes, and there's a Discord role. Uh, speaking of YouTube version of Twitch subscriptions, I also became a Twitch affiliate. So if you guys would prefer to subscribe to me over on Twitch, that's a thing now. I've already gotten a couple subscriptions on Twitch. So, you know, if you guys want to show your support in that way, then you can. And if you don't want to, and you just want to see me make a really big ass pancake. <coughs> big boy cup, little boy cup tablespoon cup. So here's the game plan. I just got the box open, right? And what I've decided to do, right, is we have measurements for if we have one cup of pancake mix, but I'm gonna measure out and see how many cups of pancake mix we actually have in here. And then from there, we're gonna upscale the ingredients. So we're just gonna turn this entire box into pancake mix. We got ourselves two cups of pancake mix, four cups of pancake mix. In total, it came out to about one and a half cups of pancake mix, sorry, not one and a half, five and a half. We've got five and a half cups of pancake mix. One big boy pancake. So I actually brought out the butter so that I could butter the pan, but I didn't actually realize that we actually need butter in the ingredients. So I'm just gonna cut this in about half. The bigger piece needs to be melted, so I'm gonna be putting, help. All right, good enough. I'm gonna be putting this piece to the side and I'm gonna be putting this piece to melt in the toaster so that when it's melted, we can pour it into the batter just like we need it. Pretty plus, pretty plus, pretty, there we go. We've got the butter standing up. We're gonna put the homie in here. We've got the leaning, leaning tower of butter over there. I'm gonna put it to toast. And while that's going, we're gonna start putting in the other ingredients. All right, so the next ingredient we're gonna be putting in is actually the milk. Because we have five and a half cups of pancake batter and one cup needs three quarters of milk, that means with five and a half cups of pancake powder, we're going to need four and one eighth cup of milk. So here we go. Our first two cups. We're just gonna pour this one in. This brings us up to three and we are missing one cup and an eighth. 
I know I'm gonna get a million questions asking me, why is your milk bag? Don't worry about it, it's convenient. I get asked so often, why do we have bagged milk? And despite being asked this question so often, I don't know why I don't have a good enough answer every single time. I think some of it has to do with um, like environmentally friendliness, other things have to do with storage. I can't do this one handed. There we go. So lastly, we need five and a half eggs and technically we don't have the ability to have half an egg. We actually only have five eggs anyways. So we're just gonna hope that these are all good to go, drop them into the boy and we're gonna get going. Our leaning tower of butter, no. About to do some precision surgery because it's literally melting off the side. There we go. No, stop moving. No. There we go. Yeah. Awesome. True OGs might remember when I made a video a long time ago where I was literally just making eggs one handed for eight minutes and I got some comments t uh, mentioning, oh man, this one cracked. I got comments asking me about how I don't know how to crack eggs with one hand. Let me tell you, uh, Two years later, that hasn't changed. All right, we got egg number one. Today I learned butter can burn. Your boy needs to beat these eggs. We've got our eggs beaned up. And we're gonna drop the whole thing in here. All right, last but not least, we have our boiling butter. <laughs> We've got our butter. There we go. And into the bowl. Yo, this smells good though. We've got everything in the bowl and now we've got to bring this bad boy over to the big mixy boy. Oh, this is heavy. Time to crank up the bad boy and we're gonna turn it on. Ayo. While that's going, we're gonna look at the instructions. We need to preheat a non-skillet skillet at medium high heat and pour a quarter of a cup batter for each pancake onto a hot, lightly greased skillet. Turn when bubbles appear. Serve with maple syrup. Makes eight to nine four inch pancakes. So you can make eight to nine with one cup. So that means what, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, yeah, I know math. 44 pancakes with this whole box. Oh boy. All right, we've got the stove cooking up, heating up right now, and here's the plan. I've got me a big boy. I'm gonna butter it up, and I'm just gonna put literally all of the batter into the big boy. So we've only got one shot to do this. And the plan here is that right now, even though I'm heating it up quite a bit, I'm probably gonna cook it with low temperature so that we do not risk any risk of burning the pancake. It's coming along pretty nicely. Let's speed it up just a bit. And we're probably gonna take that over here soon and we should be good to go. It is time. Not quite. I just remembered I didn't put the butter yet. I'm gonna lift this up, stab the boy, my depth perception is off because I'm looking at the camera screen instead of looking at what I'm looking at. We gotta get those angles. All right. Look at that, look at that. Mm. We gotta make sure this pancake does not stick at all. If we get any stick, we're gonna have a big problem. And I'm the only problem allowed on this channel. I've got all of the spatulas on standby because I know that what we're about to have is a big freaking problem. All right, I did a bit of cleaning. I'm not even gonna think about it. We just gonna do it. Oh my thickness. We go in. Let's freaking go. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I have absolutely no idea how I'm gonna flip this if I'm even gonna flip it. But I just poured it all in. Some of the butter from the bottom came out on the top. So we already have some seasoning going on here. I turned it down to four. The maximum is 10, so I don't know. But we've got a first look at the, at the this is a literal pancake. This is 44 pancakes worth of batter, but one pancake. 
a quick preliminary assessment. When I do this, the pancake isn't getting stuck around the edges. So, so far the non-stickiness is going well. On the other hand, it hasn't really settled, so we don't know for sure if what we've got going on is a poggers moment. Now, if we look at the box here, it says, uh, turn when bubbles appear on top and gold and bottoms are golden. So at the moment, the sides are a bit golden, but I'm also not sure if that is just the butter. We can see bubbles appearing. However, it is not prime time to turn. We need to get the big boys ready to go. I'm gonna do my first assessment. We're just gonna we're just gonna look over the top. Let's see what we got going on here. I'm liking what I'm seeing. It's not getting stuck to the pan. So that to me is already a dub. We're already do we're already starting off good. Am I, am I about to regret the words that I'm saying right now? Who knows? But at the moment, look at this, look at this! Holy cow! It almost smells like eggs. Look at that! Oh my goodness, it's so clean, holy cow! Bro, bro, now I just have to flip it. <laughs> I should have kept an eye on the timer, but I actually don't have any idea how much time has passed. I guess I can look into the metadata of the videos once I'm done, but we're gonna do our first, our first test to see if we can scoop underneath the pancake. Now this is actually too chonky, which means we're gonna need two boys on this. We got, there we go, we got one there, and number two. However, as y'all can see, look at that golden crisp. We're getting the crisp, we're getting the crisp. Maybe I can like push it inwards a bit, just so that we can get a bit more leeway into how much pancake I can like scoop up. It's gonna not look as nice with so many inconsistencies and imperfections, but what doesn't, it doesn't matter what the outside, what matters is the inside. And as it stands right now, this pancake is going to be so damn gold, holy cow. A little piece just fell off of my spatula, so I'm gonna take a small bite, ah, it's hot. Kinda popping off. Find a situation on our hands, my phone's about to die. So we have a minor situation, just a small one. And it is that we've, it should have been obvious, but there's literally no way to flip this without potentially either making a big mess or ruining the whole thing. So this pancake's are gonna become like a pank, pank soup, I don't know. We're just gonna start mixing the whole thing so that at least we can get it cooked so that it's not raw. We'll see what happens. Look at that golden bottom. Not one cohesive piece, but at the very least, I know how to make my pancakes. This isn't gonna look like a pancake anymore. It's just gonna look like a mess. Listen, we're gonna figure out a way to make this look gourmet AF, all right? Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. What did we learn? Well, can you do it? Yes. Should you do it? No. Am I still able to cook with a golden brown finish? Heck yeah. Not completely, but I mean, I don't see any burn, and it doesn't smell burnt, so I must be good at this. In conclusion, I've essentially just made scrambled eggs, but in pancake form. Like, I could probably just get a fork. Take out a chonky boy like this, and you've essentially got yourself a dippable pancake to just put into a cup of pancake, of uh, syrup. Look at that, just freaking eat a chunk of pancake. All right, so. I'm gonna turn off the pancake mix. Let's turn off the fan because it's been pretty loud the whole time. And here's the finishing plan. I'm gonna get myself a plate, and what I'm gonna do is just to make sure that the whole thing is thoroughly cooked, just to make sure the whole thing is thoroughly cooked, I'm gonna take a good chunk of this, I'm gonna put it on this plate, run it in the toaster just to get rid of any of any like final raw portions or like parts of the pancake that is still cooking and then we're gonna prepare it for the final tasting. Just took some out, we got ourselves a little baby portion, we're gonna run it in the toast. And I guess here's the finished product. I mean, honestly, honestly, this is just a new way of eating the same food. You could probably just dip it in here instead of having it pour in. I'm gonna take a, a taste test right here. Yo, it's kind of fire, not gonna lie. I mean, have you ever wanted an excuse to hold your pancake? You just freaking pick this bad boy up of a chonker and just... <laughs> what am I doing? I can't eat this. 
honestly, it doesn't look good. But to me, it doesn't matter if it looks good because as long as it tastes good, that's what, that's what counts. And honestly, I think I've put together a very unique style of cuisine. An absolute mess of a pancake. I bought two boxes of pancake mix, so maybe next time I can have some normal pancakes. I think notes for the future is that instead of cooking it in a pan as you normally would to make an actual pancake, it would be best to bake it in an oven instead, which defeats the purpose of cooking it like a normal pancake. But I mean, the outcome wasn't that bad, honestly. Some fun trivia, I've mentioned this on Twitter before, which you guys should follow me on. I can't taste syrup, so when people see how much syrup I've poured, and even that I've prepared Nutella, I know that there are some people that are already starting to get very uncomfortable. I actually cannot tell if something has too much or too little sugar, which means when I have dessert, I can just keep going and going and going, and that makes people very uncomfortable. However, that means a lot more pancake and syrup for me. The pros and cons, I mean honestly, because there's so much batter being balled up, it tastes a lot more like cookie dough than you would get in a pancake. And I think that's really good. I, I really enjoy that and it's not even like, it's thoroughly cooked throughout the entire thing as well. Downsides, it's very messy. Uh, it starts becoming like a little crummy if it's not in a big chunk. And at least in my case, uh, I put a bunch more in the toaster because there's no way that I'm gonna be able to eat all of this. However, because time is merely a social construct and the sun is currently setting, uh, I have myself some dessert, some breakfast, and even some lunch if I have, if I make myself some bacon, prepare some eggs with this. Honestly, I'm gonna be set for like a week on pancake. But yeah, you know what? I think now is a good time to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my adventures in making a giant pancake. I've got myself a lot of cleaning up to do, so I'm gonna cut the video here because that's not as entertaining. Once again, y'all, thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. If you're interested in becoming a member on, uh, my laptop's not open. If you're interested in becoming a member on YouTube or a subscriber on Twitch. Consider supporting me on those platforms. You get an exclusive Discord role if you support me on either of those platforms. And so consider, yeah, join me over there. Anyways, until next time, the next subscriber goal is going to be 25,000 subscribers. Long way to go, but as I've stated many times before, not impossible. Thank you so much to everyone who's stuck around. I keep on pointing at the pancakes, but I bet y'all are starting to get nauseous, so I'm gonna point it at something else. Thank you guys for the continued support and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!